Hey everyone, welcome back to more Chrono Trigger. As you can tell, we're in 65 million BC. 65 million BC is way, way, way back when, mainly because we were attempting to get a thing called the Dreamstone. A material, a rare rock that we couldn't find in any other era because it was so long ago now. But as you can tell in our key items, we're missing something rather important. Yeah, we don't have our gate key. It was stolen from us because when we had like a big party and we all pretty much got wasted, <laughs> we uh, woke up and we didn't have the gate key anymore. And all these footprints are just like, hey, the reptites stole them, so we need to find the reptites. But we went through a couple areas such as going to this hut here and doing a bunch of trading with this because the trading gave us a bunch of materials, a bunch of items. We got Mammoth Tusk, Stone Helm, and Ruby Vest for everybody, pretty much, aside from Luca, who's still using the Taven Vest because it's better. But we pretty much upgraded Shaman Bow, Stone Arm, Ruby Gun, and got a bunch of stuff. Pretty dang useful. Speaking of actually equipment, I don't have you in my party right now, so I kind of want to switch this over. Because reduces MP consumption by 50%. We are going to be using that on Ayla because of her text that we learned in the last episode. We learned a ton of text. Basically, her kiss, roundillo kick, with basically a bunch of attacks and being able to steal items from enemies. This normally costs four. That's kind of kind of a lot of MP to be wasting because we're going to be stealing a lot of things in this episode. A lot of things. But also, as you can tell, we're kind of higher level because we needed to get like 900 TP or something like that. It took a while. It took a long while. But yeah. Hello there, Kino. Kino, what you do? Say now! Kino, sorry, Ayla. Kino, take Chrono's stuff. Why take? Kino like Ayla best. Ayla say like Chrono, Kino mad. Ayla, you don't have to do that. Kino know why Ayla hit. Ayla no like Kino. No, Ayla like Kino best. So Ayla no want Kino do bad thing. Bad thing not good. Ayla. Kino sorry, Ayla. Kino sorry, Chrono. Give thing back, Chrono. No half. Reptites take. Reptite? Where Reptite go? Run trees, there. Ayla go. Kino go back village. Ayla gone. Kino protect Ioka. Okay, Ayla. Kino, man. Ayla die, Ayla have baby, then Kino chief. Maybe not in that specific order, but, um... Yeah. <laughs> Ayla. Follow Reptar! <laughs> Follow Reptite, get Chrono Thing! So following Reptite, yeah, there's a bunch of tracks everywhere and a bunch of chests that look a little fancy in this era. They had like the little top. So, enemies that we can steal things from. This is actually kind of nice because we could use Charm, but with Morrow on our party, we can also use Twin Charm, which gives us a little bit more of a success rate of stealing something. But in this case, we don't really need to worry too much. The stuff that we get from this particular enemy is like ethers. It's okay, not a big deal. We don't get ethers though if this thing turns red because right now these things are golden and they turn red if we were to hit them, which ironically enough, I hit one earlier and it didn't change. So that, that's totally fine by me. So I'm gonna go and hit the one that we stole from earlier. Let's see if we can get another ether. Nope, I missed. Eh, that's fine. Since I missed, it's just gonna turn red and be a little bit angry at me. Not a big deal. So at this point, I can just kind of get rid of them. They aren't gonna give me what I want them to give me, so. Uh, leave the screen, please. There we go. I got one ether out of it, so it's okay. Got Athenian in the water and head down. A lot of the enemies in this area actually trigger by the tracks. Like, if you're walking along the tracks, you're going to more than likely trigger the enemies. It's a little bit of a hassle, but it's not a terribly big deal since if you went to the hunting range at all, these enemies are kind of mob trash. <laughs> so it's, it's not really that big of a deal. In, these ca in this case, I believe all these enemies just have petals. So I'm not I'm not really too worried about that. It's a lot of stuff I can get in the hunting range, so I can just go back there if I... <laughs> Putting it on auto and just seeing that thing run back and forth is hilarious to me. But yeah, I can steal petals from those ones. It's not a big deal. Ooh, 16. Ooh, we got my raise. So, 
Raise? Probably learned Raise. You probably won't have this at this point if you didn't go to the hunting range and just got a bunch of TP. But it revives a KO'd ally. It's useful, but it costs MP. And I could just use Athenian Waters, which, wow, I only have three. Um, yeah, I might need to fix that. I have a lot of money now, so I could probably fix that by just getting them when I can. Or I can just find some in this area because I'm pretty sure a lot of these chests are just going to have them for me. Mid potions. Okay, I'm getting mid potions. It's not exactly the daily thinning wars I wanted, but it's still useful. All right, so following the tracks, what do we got here? Can I, can, there we go. Hey, thinning water. Perfect. <laughs> I can just, I can heal now. Perfect. Nice. So if that's ever a problem, I can just do that. Let me grab this one while I'm at it. And going down there, you actually see this path to the right over here, which allows me to just kind of go along. Pretty simple, easy peasy. Go over here, and a battle should occur when I touch that specific spot. So we got these things. I believe if I steal from them, they drop horns. So it's not really too big of a deal there. I can just kind of just, just get rid of them. Just move slightly closer, please. Just slightly closer. Uh, you're, you're, you're not? Uh, wait. Okay. Never mind. Move closer, whatever. <laughs> just, just lightning two. Lightning two, pretty much your two spells are a screen nuke in a sense. They do a decent chunk of damage, but they cost a lot of MP, and they're not really too worth it. But they're nice to have, I guess. It, it's just that the single spells are a little bit better here. Okay, there's a chest right down there that I kind of want. There's a little pathway over here as well, which has another treasury. Another mid potion. The tracks go over here as well, but they head down there, so there's probably going to be... Yep, there's... There's another panacea. There's a panacea. And we get this thing, which I probably should have encountered earlier, but I somehow missed that trigger for that one. Those are bow bows. They're pretty big and not really. Yeah, they're kind of annoying. Just slightly. They're they're the biggest threat in this entire area, honestly, so it's not like too big of a deal. But they drop not drop, they you can steal Ruby Vest from them. Which kind of makes me doing the hunting range a little bit less useful. But in this case, getting extra ones for selling is it's kind of nice, I guess. But other than that, I can just get rid of them. Not a big deal. There we go. Get more petals and fangs. I could head down below if I so chose. I can head out of this area or I can keep heading this way. I believe it was over here. There's the chest. Yep, right there. Get another mid ether. And over here is another pathway I could take, which leads up to here. A little bit annoying to walk through, but if I head over here, a little bit further, enemies to deal with. I could steal the ethers from these ones, which I'm going to because ethers are uh, kind of not really that plentiful. But if I can steal them, I can steal them. I get it. Yes, I did. That's one. If it turns red, then I... Okay, they didn't turn red. I don't care if that one turns red because I already stole the ether. But the other two, on the other hand, I am going to do that because they essentially turn into an entirely different enemy, ironically enough, when you steal the ether from them. I got another ether from that one, so I could attack this one. And then one more ether from the other one. Hopefully, hopefully I can get that before it decides to turn red. I mean, usually it turns red on reacting to what you do, but in this case, I never know. It could just turn red for the sake of turning red on me. Can I get this one? Can I get this one? Ooh, perfect. Three ethers. Now I can just kind of get rid of them. I can screen nuke them or I can just shoot them until they go by. I'm actually probably not going to auto that because they are a little bit more annoying than I want them to be. And I would rather just do a screen clear if I can. Which in this case, I'm going to wait just a teeny little bit of time until Chrono can go. There we go. And lightning too, please. If you don't have Lightning 2 or Ice 2 or any of the screen nukes, you still have Robo and you still have Supersonic Spin. So that's a screen nuke you can do. So there's no that. So you're not really hurting to get through this area. It's not that bad. Nice. All right, now we're moving on. What do we got over here? Got another pathway over here, which just leads back to here. Okay, so that was a ginormous waste of time. Okay, then. Uh, whatever. Let's head over here. And we're out. So now we have the Reptite Lair. I'm actually going to uh, going to heal. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Not a big deal. 
And everyone's pretty okay, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to swap out my party for a moment. I'm going to put back in Robo. Just because I have curing stuff with him, so it's not like a terribly big deal. But it also gives me some moves. So these enemies here. I can just wait because what they do... See this hole right here? They actually dig those holes. You remember that animation that I laughed at earlier on in uh, the Hectron Cave? Yeah, they do that. So if we wait a decent chunk of time, they will eventually do it. Hopefully, at some point. I really wish I could speed this up, but it's... Um, it will have to be in post. Like, there's no way I can do it otherwise. Just please dig already. Dig, please. You want to dig? There we go. All right, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to let that one go through. There we go. Because it opens up a hole in the ground, which we can jump down. And depending on where they dig, you get into a different section. So in this case, I got a high potion. And I'm going to talk to them, so I actually get into an encounter. These ace things here have really dang useful items. And when I say really dang useful, I mean really dang useful. We get a Dreamstone gun. That's already an upgrade for Luca right there. But... If we do charm on this one, Dreamstone Bow. And then everybody's just going to attack this one because what this thing is going to do is it's going to just peck this one with its horn and just steal its HP. So we can kind of just go in and just, just keep attacking it. It will eventually kill the other one for us more than likely if we don't kill it first. So two birds with one stone. There we go. And then we just attack it and then it has nothing to do. It's, uh, it's gone. So yeah, those two weapons we just got. Ooh, got a new dual tech. Dual tech boogie. Boogie is robo tackle and charm. Inflicts stop on all enemies. Okay. Nice. That's good. That that could be useful. But those two weapons we just got. Uh, let's see which one. Dreamstone bow. It is an upgrade that brings us to attack 60. That's great. That is really great. This is actually like the next weapon up in the set so we pretty much just upgraded already based on what we had so we are yeah we're doing good we are doing good but i'm gonna go into this and bring us down to here and because we got another chest over here which gives us a ruby vest we are basically in the center of the area now there's a bunch of different paths here you can just see a bunch of different spots i'm just gonna see if i can get just nuke them all I'm gonna do boulder toss on you, see if we can do some damage, and then you could just do rebel tackle, that's fine. If this doesn't already get rid of them. Okay, that's fine. And, uh, bye bye I don't think that's really gonna do too much damage because it's kind of a light enemy. Okay, never mind, did a lot of damage. <laughs> there you go, we got another ruby vest, so that's not really too worth it here. But we have this room down here, which has a bunch of reptites in it. Hello there. I also got a chest right here. Can I just kind of sneak by you and grab that? Thank you. And then I'm going to go and attack all these ones over here. Because if I charm them, they are stupidly fast, ironically enough. Can you um, not put me to sleep, please? Can you? Can you? Okay, thank you for waking me up. Steal. Thank you. Got a magma hand. That is an upgrade for Robo. I could sit there and steal one of those for oh, Prono sleeping. That's why. <laughs> I'm like, why can't I do anything? Can you wake up Prono? Thank you. Uh, I gotta wait for his bar now. Another magma hand. That's sellable right there. Prono, please. Thank you. Supersonic spin. And if this doesn't kill them, I'll just uh, I'll just go to the next one. Oh, yeah, that, that definitely got rid of them. All right, so that is an upgrade for Robo, so great. Another upgrade right there. Bam, brings us back up to 94. Awesome. But we're not done just yet. We got more stuff. So going over here, we get this big fella. This big fella, this ginormous enemy over here. We're gonna steal something from him as well. But is it a dinosaur? So if we use lightning attacks on it, Thank you, got the Primeval Blade. That is for Chrono. Use lightning on it and it will stun it. It's defense lowered by electric shock. The Megasaur can't really do much of anything. So in the meantime, I could just do that and then uh, kind of get a supersonic spin in.
Still shocked, so now I could just kind of run up and beat it up. Although I could probably just do lightning damage if I want to do more damage. Or I could do buggy on it to see if it actually stops it. <laughs> ah, it stopped, and now it's double stopped, technically. And it's also dead, so now it's triple stopped. All right, so that is another piece of equipment for Chrono, and that brings his attack up to 70. Yeah, so um, we pretty much got everybody upgraded again. <laughs> that's that's awesome. That is really awesome. Oh, we have more stuff over here. I'm gonna, okay, I wanted to actually, um, I wanted to take that, but this is fine. I will just do uh, a little bit of lightning two action. And, uh, yeah, I'll do a boulder toss because this is going to do, like, a lot of damage, so might as well just get the shock and then boulder toss is just, bam, a lot of damage. I'm actually kind of surprised this enemy isn't affected by the too heavy to lift or rooted into the ground claws of the boulder toss ability. That's kind of useful. All right, and now for that chest. What is it? You get a stone helm? Don't really need it, but it is a nice upgrade if you didn't actually get it from trading. Yeah, we got this big area over here. We have these things. That's another enemy we could actually test out what we get with charm. And in the meantime, I'm going to just get rid of the bow bow. Oh. There you go, pedal. Not anything too fancy. So we just kind of go in and uh, wreck house. And now for you. Perfect. We're not done just yet in this area. Go over here tackle these enemies, which I am going to see about just, uh, I don't have enough for that, never mind. Uh, let's do a supersonic spin. I have enough for that. <laughs> All right, that gets rid of you and you, and I can just flat out attack this one. There we go. All right. So, now I probably should change out my party because I don't really need Robo on my party anymore. I'm gonna put Morrow back in. So I could do, I could do healing with Morrow and she's a little bit faster. And I don't have to sit there and cure Robo's MP because yay. <laughs> but I can cure Colonel's MP, which I'm going to do with some of the ethers I got. There we go. We're gonna head through here. These here is a bunch of ladders. You would think that like, hey, why am I climbing up on this mountain again? But it's okay because this actually leads to a hole right over here. I'm just gonna narrowly avoid that enemy, not, not even bother. We got this room again. So, we wait for them to dig holes again. It's a little bit of a hassle, but there's actually some stuff I missed in one of the particular holes. I uh, don't want you digging, so I'm gonna click A on it to stop it from digging. Because if I let it dig, it's gonna dig a hole there, and the top left section actually doesn't have any chests. I'm not gonna bother with that at all. But we have a couple more stuff. We have one more thing in the bottom right, so I'm just gonna let him dig. Because I kind of, um, I, I forgot. I attacked the thing too early. So if I wait, how did I get this section? Whatever, that's totally fine. I would, I would get this section. And now that I'm here, I can sit there and wait until they dig, which it's kind of a chance in this case. It's probably not gonna happen, so if it doesn't happen, I'm just gonna cut. But yeah, if I go down that hole, I'm going to get into battle with those enemies. I'm going to get wound up down below again, and I can make my way back up. So I'll meet you right back up there. Basically, how this one works is that there are four quadrants in this area. The upper left has nothing in it, so I don't really have to worry about anything there. The upper right, if you drop down, it has a mid ether. But if you sit there and wait, if you get into the just right spot, which it should be around here, there's a hidden hole which will actually drop and give you an elixir. Yeah, these things are actually kind of the really fancy item of RPGs that give you HP and MP recovery up to full. And most people save them to like the final boss and then they went on never using them. The bottom left, if you drop down, you get a mid ether. And if you drop down the hole that's already there, you'll get a high potion. And on the bottom right, you'll get a high potion as well. But if you wait for the hole to be dug, you'll get a high ether, as well as fight a bunch of big enemies, of course. So now that we're done pretty much doing all the exploring, we have this group up here. 
This group, again, is just another Reptite combo group, so we'll just kind of go up, use Lightning to stun the big Megasaur. It'll get rid of the Reptites as well. You can use Charm to steal what they have if you want. And then just get rid of the big Megasaur or Boulder Toss because it's a big enemy. It does a lot of damage. There we go. And in defeating that group over here, you're pretty much done with this area for the most part. It spawns a save point. Which save point, conveniently enough, use a shelter because you know what's coming, a boss. And shelters are plentiful, so you might as well. And if you want, what you could also do is you could remove the silver stud from Ayla at this point because you don't really need to be stealing anything anymore. Give her back her power scarf so she does more damage. What in the world? Could those filthy apes have crafted something this advanced? Azala! And so the hairless apes arrive. Ah, and these new ones appear cut from a finer cloth than Ayla. Perfect! This should make things easier. Tell me, apes, what is the purpose of this device? Tell Azala about the gate? Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? It's very unbelievable. Lies! Do you take me for a fool? No one would talk so easily if that were true. Or perhaps this might loosen your tongues. Come, Nizbel! Nisbel! I'm actually going to start off this fight by using Charm on Nisbel because if I use Charm, I get another third eye, which honestly, I really don't need, but it's something. Either way, Nisbel is another dinosaur, so I use Lightning on it in order to do stun. But it's a special kind of dinosaur. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a Peter Griffin. And pretty much it uses stack electricity to its advantage. So in this case, I'm actually going to use Marl for hasting all our party and then when Chrono is not active, I'm going to have Ayla do Boulder Toss. And if Ayla is not active, I'm going to have Chrono do Cleave. <laughs> Past that, it's pretty much just going to be recovering from this because this does a lot of damage. And since I'm carrying with Chrono, he's not active anymore. So I could do a Boulder Toss or I could wait for his gauge to fill up because he has kind of haste on. So it goes pretty quick. So I can get off Thunder Chomp instead because that will do a lot more damage. But first I need to use lightning in order to lower his defenses. And then I could use a Thunder Chomp, which a lot of damage. It's just like pfft, straight damage. It is awesome. But again, if Chrono's not active, Boulder Toss is definitely the way to go. And then just continue using hasting and making sure that everybody's healed. This fight is actually much easier than Mass Immune. It just, it feels like it might be harder just because it's a little later, like an hour or so later into the game. Kind of funny when you think about it. But yeah, I'm pretty much all set. I just gotta just wait for Thunder Chomp again. And now that I have haste on everybody, this fight is pretty much in the bag at this point. But uh, maybe put it more in the bag by actually healing Marl. She's kind of low and she might barely survive the vault discharge that he does. So, um, yeah, let's get that healing off. Yeah, that's better. And now I'm going to be doing another Thunder Chomp, and, um, hmm. Rather not use Ice, because Ice is not really going to do much. Ayla is the next lowest in terms of HP, so I'm just going to do Cure on her in order to heal her. But I'm pretty okay. I'm pretty set. This boss is plenty simple, as long as you just keep up on the healing whenever it does Electric Discharge. These are things like a Stag Electricity Magnet. It's just going to do... It's going to, you use lightning on it, and then it's like, I have static electricity, now I'm going to on you. And it's like, yeah, okay, that, that makes sense, I guess. Does a lot of damage that way, but... Eh. I still got to wait for Chrono, I'm going to do Boulder Toss, actually. And do a lot more damage. There we go. And that gets rid of it. It's a rather simple boss. You were standing there the whole time. The apes beat Nisbel. Give thing back, Chrono, now. Very well, you've won the day. But know that we reptites are rulers of this world. We will not surrender to you, filthy apes. Is the Geki all right? 
Oh, thank goodness. It looks like it's okay. Zala, come anytime. Ayla, no. Ugh. 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 Yeah, I guess she was still kind of drunk. Chrono, leave? No, Chrono. Ayla, no fun. Thanks, Ayla. I learned a lot from you. Sorry, Chrono. Kino try to be strong now. Even more strong, Chrono. Come again, Chrono. Have party. Drink, eat, dance, fight, fun. Yeah, we're pretty much done here, and Ayla's out of our party now, so that's kind of why I de equipped that thing from her and I put it on Chrono instead because, yeah, I lost the thing. Come again, Chrono. Mario Luca, too. So we're pretty much done here, but what we can do first is I'm actually going to go over to this hut because I get a the free heal out of it. There we go. And we have the Dreamstone and we have our gate key. So we can head back to the Mystic Mountains. We can kind of rush through here. I'm going to make this a little bit easier. In case I get into a battle here, I'm going to switch out for Robo because I can just do Supersonic Spin and get rid of it really quickly. So, up, uh, yep, yeah, yeah, like this. Exactly perfect. I could just do Supersonic Spin or I could do Lightning, either or. Lightning would probably do it. Yeah, I'm just going to do Lightning. But yeah, having Robo would kind of make the Supersonic Spin maybe a little bit better. Uh, that gets rid of that, that, and they're still alive, so, uh, we'll just, just do a standard attack and bam, they're gone. Perfect. Are you going? I just learned Ice Tackle as well for having Robo in my party, and I probably should swap out for Luka now that I think about it so I can learn another one. <laughs> that just happened really quickly. I'm gonna wait, since Robo's kind of the slowest of our group at the moment. I'll wait just a teeny little bit until we can go. I think all four of them need to go first. So, there we go. And supersonic spin, please. That should ensure that they all go down. And perfect. There we go. That should give us a dual tech if I need one. Nope. Guess we're all good there. And again, if we want to get out of here, we just head up this hill and we jump down. And we're done in prehistoric times for now. So next time an Azure plays more Chrono Trigger, we're going to deliver the Dreamstone to Melchior and see about getting the Massimoon fixed. See you all then.